Hello, hello, hello. I've got the headphones of shame on already. This is a follow-on from yesterday's MIDI guitar video. You can trigger... Again, somebody asked about this in the comments. They wanted to know how MIDI guitar 3 or 2, it's interchangeable, how it triggers the synths in your door. I don't know, it's, it's like magic. I'm not sure exactly how it works because I'm just a mid guitarist. So, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you using magic. We're going to show you what I've got lined up here. Wait a minute. It would be good if I actually got everything arranged properly. But here we go. I have. MIDI guitar on this channel and it is active the little the little light is available let me just drag that up so you can see what's going on you can see it, it, it is active see that needs to be on because if you turn it off it will it won't work so you so know that's active now on this on this channel I'm just going to close that now on this channel, we have an instance of pigments. On this channel, I have an instance of Archeria's Mellotron. Which is nice, I like that one a lot. And I've got the sampler that's built into Logic Pro. Whoops, I haven't selected it. <laughs> so yeah, so you can then switch between the three as simple as selecting it. It's as easy as that. Now I think you can trigger each of them, all of them at once. You can't do it if you select all of them because that would be ridiculous. It just um, goes to the one that you first activated. But I think there is a way of rooting the MIDI out via um, this new version of MIDI Guitar 3 um, because there is a look you can you can do MIDI output so but I'm not I don't know anything about MIDI <laughs> I haven't I haven't got the manual because again this is all in beta still so uh, theoretically in the future you could trigger all three of those at once though why you'd want to do that I don't know really no when you can you know just tr jump from one to the other again useful if you're you because again you can use logic as a performance instrument you know it's not just a door you can you know you can have this on a laptop and use this as your uh, as your like your pedal board, <laughs> and so you can be you know doing your now. Oh, and this is the uh, this is the Fender Ed O'Brien Strat, which I've pimped out with a with a nice perloid. Whoops perloid guard scratch guard there to make it look nice and because I've got this has got a sustainer in it so I can just uh, look ma no hands 
and then if I want to swap but of course infinite sustain but then the Mellotron should cut out See, so cuts out because and that's what a Mellotron would do um, but if you're playing a synthesizer you can infinite sustain but when you do a bend it triggers again so uh, yeah but anyway that's that's how you do it you can just um, you know select between and it's as easy as that now you could use a MIDI foot pedal to switch between channels there are ways you can configure the software to do that again I'd have to sit down and think about that but that's one way of doing it but that's what I like about um, MIDI guitar 2 and 3 is that you can just you know have a, a software instrument you know, oh god there's a, I didn't know there's a vintage Mellotron that version there look not quite as nice as the uh, Arturia one but you can I like the way you can just pull it up and you know get working you know it can just oh you know so it really helps you're not fiddling around with things it just just pull up the VST on the channel and you can trigger it which you know I like the immediacy of it so yeah that's clever and like I said you can just if you if you got loads of instances up now what I do right is not only do I capture the again this is this is advanced stuff not only do I capture the uh, the MIDI because when you record onto the guitar synth track uh, sorry onto the software instrument track you record all the MIDI notes um, I root it onto um, onto the, what I call what I've got set up as an audio bus here and then you know I hit record and uh, so whoops let me just uh, is that going out? Oops, no, I haven't actually adjusted the. Uh, and then I can. Hopefully. Oh. Uh, this has been interesting possibly not possibly not interesting because you know it's very niche what you're doing and again it's uh, it's easier just to do everything on keyboards rather than use the guitar it's a lot easier to to do, to do that rather than you know just guitar synth is purely um it's just pure what would you call it arsing around because <laughs> you get better results with an actual keyboard controller rather than a guitar controller you're always compromising with a guitar because you know each guitar is different each guitar triggers differently and so um, you're always kind of 
trying to find a happy medium. But yeah, I mean the MIDI guitar two and three uh, VSTs are a really interesting way of getting into guitar guitar to plug-in functionality without spending a lot of money. I think it, again when I bought it, it was about a hundred a hundred euros, a hundred pings. It might have gone up in the interim period. But I thought that was a good investment. Again, they give you a demo to to, to, to use, and I used, you know, I did that. I used that first, and I thought, yeah, this is going to be fine for what I want. And so, yeah, I can still mess around with guitar into synths and you know, do ambient stuff without having racks and racks and racks and racks of Roland hardware, which you know suits me. Suits me fine. Anyway, thankfully, that's that's the end of the video. I've been using this sustainer guitar because it's an easy way of of triggering a VST if you're using MIDI guitar 3 in this instance though you can use MIDI guitar 2 it works exactly the same way it's just MIDI guitar 3 is in beta at the moment so I've been messing around with that and various Arturia plugins and whatnot um, hopefully you found this interesting uh, that's the video thank you for watching and now I'm going to edit out the bit where it went a little bit it went a little bit wrong. <laughs> you won't even see it. <laughs> It'll be like magic. Uh, Ta-ta.